Hello everyone. Ooh. Of course, can't start a video without <laughs> doing something. Um, hello everyone. I'm trying to figure out a way to position this camera in such a way. Eh, this is fine. Here, I'll do this. That's, that's good enough for me. Alright. Hello everyone. Um, guess what I did today? I emptied out $200 from my bank account, um, doing a bunch of grown-up stuff. Um, I went to the smog station and, uh, got my car smog checked, and then I went to the DMV, like, right across the street from the DMV, stood there and, uh, renewed my registration, and then, um... And then I decided, why not? Why not also renew my driver's license because it's it's gonna expire in like three or four weeks. Um, God, you know I've been waiting for that moment for like four years because like I remember the very first time I took my driver's test photo, my driver's license photo rather. Um, I was in a really bad mood, so for like four years I've just had this terrible picture of myself. And then I realized as soon as I told them, because you know I was like, why not just because I don't want to go back to the DMV just to get my license. I was like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I need to update my driver's license. Then I realized I'd been wearing a hat all day, and I took my hat off, and it looked awful. So I literally went to the bathroom, wet my hair, and then dried it off in the blow, in the blow dryer that's also in the bathroom. And of course, as soon as I do that, someone guy walks in, so I just pretend to be cool, pretend like my head wasn't just hunched over on the, on the, um, hand dryer. Um, I hoped it looked okay. Uh, they don't tell you, they don't show you what the picture looks like, they just take your picture, they don't even tell you if you blinked or not, they're just like, there you go, like, three, two, one, there you go, flash goes off, alright, you're good to go, we'll, you'll get it in two weeks, here's your temporary license, goodbye, um, anyway, um, that ended up costing me a grand total of, um, what, like, two hundred something dollars, Boy, I sure am glad I bought this thing. So whenever I make like a big purchase or like every anytime I have to spend money on anything that I mean something necessary but something I don't really want to do like just you know just stressors, um, I end up wanting I end up wanting to buy something something that I like, and a good thing I already bought this because I feel like I wouldn't have bought it if I had already spent the money, um, but this thing was on sale. Um, it is the super action statue of Jotaro Kujo, specifically Jotaro from part four. Uh, it had been like, what, a hundred eighty dollars, hundred dollars, eighty dollars for like, uh, for like forever. And then I was like, should I buy it? And, uh, my friend had convinced me buy it. So I said, okay. And then I didn't buy it. And then the very next day when I went to go check it, it went down to 65 bucks. I said, I'm buying it right now. And I I got the option to wait as long as I could so that I get it without no, without any shipping. So the box is fucked. But I think, I think that's just because they don't make these figures anymore. I think these figures are just discontinued. Or at the very least, um, at the very least, the only things remaining are stuff that are still in inventory like I don't think they're actively making these figures anymore because all the other ones from the uh from the rest of the line are like from two three years ago and I'm not gonna review this figure I'm not gonna make an action figure review but it just I had no idea like I saw like videos of these toys a long long time ago and I always thought they were like um play arts kai size I always thought they were the same size as the kingdom hearts 3 sword which is currently Right underneath that desk that I'm pointing at, because it's so fucking huge, I have nowhere to put it. That's why I bought the Bring Arts one, which is right underneath my my PS my my TV, which yeah, I think that I think that's what I'm pointing at. Yeah, um, six inch scale this whole time. So like, because I, I remember posting a comment on the Good Smile um, Facebook account because they had advertised the JoJo figures and they were coming out with Nendoroids. I was like, why don't you guys make figmas of JoJo figures? And someone was like. I don't think that's necessary because the super action statue figures exist. And I'm like, yeah, but they're huge. Apparently not. I saw a video of a guy um, 
make an, uh, making a review of these guys, and he put like the fucking Figma link next to it, and they're the same size. And so I have him posed right here. Super fucking cool. There he is. Jotaro Kujo. Um, yeah. Retail therapy. It's it's a it's a for real thing. And I wish I I wish I had more self control with myself. But literally, any time I'm ever put in a stressful situation is when I start buying dumb shit like this. Like I mean, I mean I was gonna buy it eventually. So you know, regardless of whatever, I was gonna buy it. But I'm kind of glad that things coincided in such a way because you know, buying new things reduces my stress and buying new figures reduces my stress a lot now i have a figure representation of one of my favorite anime series from jojo the other one is that i bought a long long time ago i'm pretty sure i shut it off was grin lagon um the original version so uh revoltech re-released um a bunch of their figures and one of the figures they re-released was the original grin lagon I had the version with the drills all over it, so it was really hard to hold, but I've always wanted the original one with the with the Gurren wing, and uh, everywhere online it was like 80 90 fucking $100. I was like, I'm not about to spend that much money for a figure that I already own, and lucky for me, um, they had re-released it. Uh, they, they, they changed some of the parts on it, like... Uh, the little ball joints right here are like a different material. Ball joint right there is a different material. Or sorry, not ball joint. The Revoltech joint is a different material. But regardless, yeah, I just, I don't know. That's just, that's just a little factoid about me, I guess. It's uh, retail therapy. I, I do it. Um, I buy, I buy myself a little thingy anytime I, anytime I'm stressed out. And it's kind of been, uh, Still in like a transitionary period, I guess. I don't know. Like I'm, I'm. I filled out like I filled out a whole job application because I'm thinking of leaving my current job for a th different job that I. It's entirely possible that I would hate, but at the same time, it's gonna pay me a little bit better. I just, I don't know. You know. Um. Yeah. Regardless, my bank account is in dire straits it needs it needs funds badly and that's the thing and i and um uh i told i asked one of my i asked one of my uh, my co-workers i uh, i mean uh coordinators honestly um i asked her I was like, hey would it be okay if i put you down as a reference for for my job application and she said she said yeah that's fine um and then she had told my manager like, hey just so you know he's thinking of leaving and, and I didn't know that she did that, so I went over to the sock room, and then as I was leaving, my manager's like, you can't leave. I go, yeah, and I just kind of explained my situation, and just, you know, it sucks. And I basically told her, if I didn't like the place, I would have left a long, long time ago. And honestly, that's true. Uh, I, it's not that, it's not that the bad, it's not that the job is bad, it's just that I've been put in several positions before where... Through, I mean, throughout the, throughout the couple of years that I worked there, I've had a couple, I've had situations where I was like, felt like, not like I was being treated unfairly, but just that I wasn't being listened to, or, you know, just otherwise like, I don't know, like I just, it just didn't feel like a hospitable environment. I mean, over time, those those things eventually corrected themselves. Some of them I'm actually glad I stayed for. Like, one of those things was the fact that, um, as a coordinator, I didn't really know what I was doing, and it felt like I was never going to learn what I was doing, and it felt like I was just doing a terrible job as I was going through. Um, and eventually I learned, eventually I found my way, um, and I'm getting the hang of it. I mean, I've got the hang of it. It's just, it's just, you know, getting busy, you know. It's, like, I feel like the stuff that I mess up on and stuff that's like, outside of my control, um... I mean, granted, there are a couple things that I could still work on, but I acknowledge that, and I try to work to attain those goals. But, um, so I'm glad I stayed for that to correct those issues. But at the same time, I feel like it's going to be like this everywhere I go, where uh, I'm always going to have a moment where I, I don't know what I'm doing, and I feel like I'm not, I feel like I'm not doing a good enough job. 
but at least at this place, I'm going to get paid a little bit better. You know, that's the only thing. I just, I don't know. I had like a, I've had like a lot to think about. And, um, I don't know. I'm still, I'm still deciding about it. So, I guess I'll, I guess I'll figure it out. Uh, that's it. Maybe I need to buy another one of these figures as I make this decision. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go. Have a fantastic day. I will see you all till next time. Once I retitle this video, because I, I try to number them and the other one was numbered incorrectly. Anyway, no one cares. Bye-bye. See you guys next time. <laughs>